Hey guys, welcome to my new video on how to upload your game to Steam using Steam Pipes. I decided I'm gonna record my process how I did it so you can have some tutorial of how it works in 2024. There is official tutorial from Steam but that one is several years old and is totally up, not up to date so it's almost unusable. So let's start. First thing we are gonna do is jump to our Steam work page and scroll down to find download the latest SDK button. Go ahead and download it. After that you can extract the whole file anywhere you want, it doesn't really matter. Then we are gonna go inside the folder, go to tools and open the steam pipe GUI. Go ahead and extract that one as well, again doesn't matter where. Let's open it. Now this is the main tool that we are gonna use to send our game to Steam. First thing to do is to fill our app ID that you can find in your Steamworks page uh, once you click on your game. The depot number is usually same as your app ID, just replace the zero with one at the end. But if you want to check it, you will go to edit Steamwork settings, Steam pipe and depot. And you have your number right there. Now, your build description can be anything you want, I personally put my version there, you will later see where the description is displayed. Next is our build path. The build path is where you will extract all of your game files. Me personally, after I built my game with Unity, I just grabbed everything and just threw it there. The build path is in the same file with tools, then you go into content builder and content. Go ahead and throw all your game files there, after that copy the path and uh, drop it into the steam pipe. After that we will fill our Steamworks SDK content builder path, that's literally the file before we went into the content file, so once again SDK, tools, content builder and throw the path there. Next you are gonna fill in your username and password, those are the same ones you used to log into the Steam account you used to upload the game, so put those there. Once you do that, click on the generate the VDF files. It will generate some text documents, I have a few more there, I don't think it matters, but after I had few problems I deleted them and click generate again and only got two documents. So if you run into some troubles uh, you can go ahead and do it, but otherwise leave the documents you have there. After that we can go ahead and click upload. A command prompt will start and it's gonna load all kinds of stuff, after a moment it will ask you for Steam Guard code. That one uh, should be in your email, depends on how your verification is set up. I personally found my in email and just copied it there and hit enter. And that part is done. The rest of the stuff is done in our Steam workspace, so let's jump there. We go once again into our edit Steam work settings. There we will go into Steam pipe and build. There you can see the build that I just uploaded. If everything went well on the upload process, you should see yours as well. You can also see the description that I gave it. We will go ahead and set the build live on branch to default. Quick note, if for some reason something goes wrong and it doesn't work at the end, happened to me, you will later just upload it again and select that new version to default. After that, click on preview change and then set the build live now. No worries, this won't actually set your build to live or anything, it just means that anyone that has access to it can download it. This is for beta testing and stuff, meaning if you gave your game keys to someone, uh, they will be able to download it. The game is not public yet. After that, let's jump to our depot. You can check stuff there, I only change operating system to Windows since that's the one my game is gonna work on. Then go to installation and general installation. We need to change our launch options there. Our install folder is the name of the file for the game once you download it. Go ahead and click edit. The only thing you need to change there is executable. You should have their game.x. 
Change it into whatever your executable is gonna be called, meaning the one you click the start the game and of course uh, that X at the end. Change your launch time to default one as well. And that's all. Let's go to publish, prepare for publishing and write down the code Steamworks. Now once again this will not set the game to publish, it will only allow for it to be downloaded by the people who have it before its release. This will also allow for you to send the game build for the review. If you copied everything you should be fine, the only error I've gotten was that my game was crashing right after the Unity logo, for me the problem was that I still had my app ID in game set to 480, which is the default one and not my official game ID. If you have any problem or something doesn't work, feel free to ask in the comments, I will try to help as best as I can. With all that being said, you should be able to download your game on Steam right now if you unlocked it already. If you have play instead of install, there just click uninstall and it should fix it so that you can download it. So that's all from me, hope to see you again, bye!